So this is a Coachman Pastiche 5754. I'm going to take you around the van, show you how it operates. In front of the van, we've got the jockey wheel hitch and handbrake. We'll take you through these in person here on site, and we'll also talk you through the ATC. In the front locker, you've got your gas regulator on the bulkhead. Should you need the pipe work to go from the regulator to the gas bottles, we do have that available here on site also. Two gas bottle tie downs, you can carry a maximum of two six kilogram propane gas bottles on board the van at any time. Um, and they do need to be turned off when you are traveling. On the side of the van, you've got your Truma heating and hot water flue. This is simply there to allow the heating system to breathe. You never cover it up, especially when it's in, been operated. Um, and also be aware that it does get quite hot, the vent system itself, when the system is running. On each corner at the front, you've got your wind down legs to stabilize the caravan while it's in use. You would never lift the caravan with these legs as it could potentially damage the floor of the caravan if you did lift the van with these. You've then got your water pump connection. Pull back the blue trigger to release it from the side of the caravan and push it in, uh, do the same thing. And then you release the trigger and it will lock the pump in place. The pickup pipe itself, the act roll drops down inside the tank or inside the act roll itself. As you can see, I've connected a battery up just so you can see everything is operational on board the caravan. You'd never run the caravan without a 12, uh, 12 volt battery on it. Um, and that battery that we have here, just to demonstrate the system, will be removed prior to the caravan leaving site. Then got your mains power lead come into the side of the caravan. And in that side of the locker as well, you'll also find your motor move power switch, which will demonstrate while you're here on site. Mover, like I said, will be done here on site. And we'll also talk the units before you leave site, so you can see they've been tightened correctly prior to you taking the caravan away. The fresh water that goes in the front of the caravan has to come out somewhere, and that's what these two grey pipes are for down the side of the van. You'll put your grey pipes into them larger diameter holes, um, and they'll drop down inside your waste tank itself. Back in the caravan, you've got your toilet flush tank. This tank here will take three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. You're gonna lock it up on the front here for when you're traveling. In the bottom, you've got your toilet waste cassette. You release it by plugging up the orange handle. The neck here turns out so you can tip the waste away. You've got a grey cap here to measure your pink and your blue fluid. On the back of the cassette, you've got an orange pressure relief button so when you're tipping the waste away, it can spit and splatter back at you. Prior to use, you'll need to put one litre of water in that tank and a cap full of the blue fluid. Either side, on the rear of the caravan, again, you've got your wind down legs to stabilise the van. You wouldn't lift the caravan with these, as again, it could potentially damage the floor. On the door side of the van, you've got your underbed storage at the rear, um, through this locker just here. And then you've got your two fridge vents also. The two fridge vents are there to allow hot air at the back of the fridge unit and to take some cool air in. You wouldn't cover them up. As you can see, there is a gap here between the doors, so you haven't got to worry about that. But behind the top one as well, you'll find a gas flue for when you're running the fridge on gas. On the side of the, on this side of this particular van, you've got a vent here. So if you've got the heating on inside the caravan, you can actually have the hot air coming out of the vents around the van also on the outside. So when you've got your warming up, it warms it up in there. Barbecue gas point, very simply, you'll have a fitment that goes into the bottom here, push it into place. You'll then turn the gas valve 90 degrees to turn the gas supply on to the barbecue, for instance. Three pin socket, open up the gray flap. At the back here, you'll find a three pin socket so you can have power out to your awning. And then you've got a wind down leg on the front left hand corner also. Going inside the caravan now. Very simple to use caravan. First thing I'm going to show you is the 240 trip switches and the 12 volt switches. So underneath this seat on the far right hand side, you'll see this cupboard that you can open up. You'll see you've got your 240 trip switches on the top. And then on the right hand side, you've got a test switch just here. If you hit that white test switch and the power trips down, which as you can see at the moment, it's not doing. That means there is currently no power coming into the caravan from the caravan site itself. This time when I hit the test switch, you'll notice it trips off. So what basically happened there was, is that it tripped the power out due to the fact it had power coming into the caravan. If there is no power coming from the site you're on, like I said, that test switch will not drop down. So that's a way of testing if you have any problems with the electric system to make sure you have power coming in. Down the bottom, you have your 12 volt fuses going along the bottom. And in the manual for the caravan, you'll actually find a list of what each fuse should be in these uh, terminals. 
and there is a list there along the bottom telling you what each of the fuses is for. While we're underneath this seat on this right hand side, we're going to make sure the two yellow drain down valves are parallel with the floor. So if them two yellow valves are parallel with the floor as they are at the moment, it means you can fill the water system on board the caravan. If they're pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat, then it will drain all of the water out of the caravan and onto the floor underneath. And for winter storage or for after, after each use of the caravan, we would advise that you drain the system completely down. Just so if it did freeze at all, it doesn't freeze the water system and crack the pipework and the tank itself just here. So like I said, them two yellow valves are now parallel with the floor. Once you've got them yellow, yellow valves parallel with the floor, you can come over to each tap on board the caravan, open them all up on the hot side of the water system. As you can see, I've already filled the system up. But then you'd come over to your main control panel. You'd have your master power switch on for your master power. You have your awning lights on, or your interior lights on, and your awning lights on. Once you've got that control panel turned on, you can turn the water pump on to the on position, and the water system will start filling. Now when that water system is completely full, you'll have water running out of every tap, as you can see it's doing at the moment. At that point, you can shut all of the taps off, and you're ready to start heating the water on board the caravan. Just going to take you through the rest of this control panel just before we warm up the water. So you've got the left to right, left and right arrows here on either side. Battery voltage on board the caravan, 13.7 volts. Come across again, you've got the internal temperature for the caravan. Settings for the caravan, so you can go through and set your time, etc. for the control panel up here. And then you've got your clock. In the top left hand corner here, it's indicating that we've got power coming into the caravan on this symbol here. Then on the left hand side, it's indicating that the water pump is turned on. So now the system's full, we can actually come over to the Truma control panel on the wall just here. So, press the central button and it will take you into the options. The first option that you come to here on the left hand side that is flashing is the option to warm the caravan up. So you basically you click on that by pressing the central button in. You'll spin the dial around to the temperature you want the heating system to be at. And again, you'll press the central button to set the temperature. I'm gonna leave that turned off for now. I don't need the heating on today. You'll then spin the dial to the right again and it will take you to your water heater options. You've got water heater off, water heater 40 degrees, 60 degrees, or boost when you're showering on board the caravan. I've got it on boost at the moment just to get the, the water system nice and hot for when you arrive on site so you can see everything is working the way it should do. I'll drop that down to, down to 60 in a short while. The next symbol you come to is the power source you want, want to run your heating and hot water from. Again, you'll press the central button and then you've got this, the option to change power supply by spinning the dial in the center here. You've got gas on its own, so that absolutely means gas running your heating and hot water. Mix one, a combination of gas and electric at the same time, 1000 watts. Mix two, 2000 watts of power and gas at the same time. Electric one, 1000 watts of power on its own. And electric two, 2000 watts of power on its own. We're gonna select the electric one because we're on mains power at the moment. If you ignited the system on gas, and it failed to ignite, it would actually come up with a warning message on the screen here, it'd be an error code, um, and you just have to reignite the gas system. If I spin the dial around to the end here, to the fan symbol, we can then turn on the blown air heating. Now at the moment it's not gonna do that because I haven't got the heating turned on, give me a second. Let's just put it on 14. Spin the dial back across to the fan, and you've got eco or high, depending on how you want the heat, uh, the fan system to work. Eco will just be a gentle blow around the caravan, and high will be like when you've got your fan on high at home. Turn the heating back off. So that is your heating and hot water control panel, the main options. Down the bottom here, you see you've got three other symbols. For these, we do advise you read the manual because you can set your timers for your heating and hot water. On the bottom left hand side you can set your clock and then you've got some advanced options in the spanner symbol on the end but like i said for these we do advise you read the manual that comes with the caravan up above you've got your microwave and that works like your household microwave we do recommend taking the microwave plate out while you are traveling 
hob grill and oven all works very much the same as your household appliances now the 240 electric ring on the oven will only work when you connect it to mains power the same as the microwave but then you have an igniter on the front right hand side here for the gas systems itself the bed lifts up the storage access underneath as you can see and then we're going to go into the bathroom and i'm going to demonstrate the toilet system that is the last part of the system we're going to go through on board the van toilet system has an electric flush you have a toilet full indicator light on this left hand side so that toilet light illuminates red when the toilet waste cassette is completely full the toilet seat itself stays in the central position when you are emptying the waste cassette from underneath the van however when you are using the loo you can spin the toilet to whichever position you like but like i said it will need to be back in the central position to remove the cassette from underneath now the bottom of the toilet you have your grey waste handle now that grey waste handle will need to be in the open position when you use the loo i do advise when you finish using it to shut it back off so you don't get any smells coming back inside the van again this grey flap needs to be in this position here when you remove the toilet waste cassette from underneath the van if it's open at all it will actually lock the cassette in place the same as if the toilet seat is turned so this is the coachman pastiche 5754 if you have any further questions on the caravan please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the caravan company and we'd be more than happy to help we appreciate the business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect your caravan thank you for now bye bye